Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bo. So we're going to do a little video today on using workshops to build you a crap ton of money and by using them to make you a monopoly of whatever resource you'd like to produce. So to get this, you're going to need to get started. You're going to need about 26,000 uh, dinars. So it's not like beginning game stuff, but it's not unattainable. So first things first, we're going to go up here to Pan Canuck. Now, why Pan Canuck? Well, the reason we're going to go to Pan Canuck is because Pan Canuck has been known for having lots of pottery, apparently, from what I've read on the interwebs. Uh, we currently don't own anything, okay? So we have nothing. There we go. So let's go for a walk around town. So the first part about this is we're going to have to go for a walk around town and see if they have a potter. Uh, spoiler alert, I guarantee they have a potter because I was just there. So you're walking around town wondering where the hell a potter is. Hold the alt button and you will see it. Of course, it has to be like stupid far away. I don't understand why it's got to be a hundred yards away, but that's fine. So what's the principle of what we're trying to accomplish with this workshop? So with this guide, I'm going to try to teach you how to buy a workshop. And then what we're doing is we have to go across every other town on the map and use our second workshop that we have available to us to buy it. Uh, essentially, we want to find every other pottery shop that there is on the map, buy them, change the pottery type, the, the, the shop type, sell the shop, and then keep repeating this until we're completely the only pottery shop in the world. So you'll have to have some money. So in this case, 13,921 dinar. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. We would like to continue making pottery. Doesn't really matter. Go on like this, yes. Uh, there's no rich households that can live a day without pottery. Okay. So now we own a pottery shop. Okay. So the next part that you're going to want to know about, well, what the hell happens from here on? Well, it's going to be a lot of walking around. I'll tell you that. So let's take our, for our first example. We're over here in Pen Canuck. Okay, you can zoom out to about this level right here and see all the major cities that have workshops. Not a big deal. Uh, so let's go over to... This really doesn't matter. Let's go over to Maramuluth. And kick that action up a bit. There we go. Very good. Alright, got some... Got some extra gains, got some action happening. That's, that's not too bad. Okay. So now the next thing is you can either, if you feel the need, you can hold left to kind of get an idea of what the town is, but it doesn't tell you crap as far as what is in there. So you have to kind of jump in, walk around the city center. But here's the nice part. We don't have to do anything. If we see another potter, great. We just move on and this can take a while. So as you can see, we've got a wood shop, an olive press and a smithy. So we don't care, uh, move on. So what I'm gonna do is go around real quick and just do this until I find another pottery shop and then I will get back to you. All right, so we did find another pottery barn. Yeah, I know it's a pottery shop, but whatever. It's funner that way. So I'm in can something. We'll check it out in a moment. But here's what's up. We're going to go in here, and now we've already owned the other pottery shop. So it doesn't matter what type of wood shop it, is, like shop it is. We're just trying to make sure there's only one on the map. I want to buy this shop. Sure. I want to turn it into anything other than a pottery barn. So let's put it into a freaking wood shop. Whatever. Yeah, sure. Okay, it's a wood shop. Now we go over here. I paid $13,110. We're over here in Kar Bansif. So if we go down to our clan and we say, okay, we have 83 bucks is all we're making on that pottery barn. I could sell it. And now here's the cool part. NPCs do not turn a shop back into what it was. So if it was previously a pottery shop, now it will be like a wood shop. So now you see there's a wood shop an oil press and uh, other thing. Anyway, it was a wood shop over there. So now it's a wood shop. 
you have to keep doing this process across the entire map so you don't have to do it immediately but what you're going to be doing is cutting out all of your competition. So if maybe as you're playing the map or you're doing your things or whatever, when you come into a big town and you now see that there's another shop or another pottery barn, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, you go in there and you take care of it. You buy it and sell it. And who cares about the loss? So now let's see. I have $83. or It's, it's 83 a day. Let's see if we can get in there and see if that has changed any of our pricing i hope it has but we'll find out i'm losing my butt cheeks on uh on troop costs right now at least on this playthrough i don't think this is one of my originals but eh, whatever it's fine right okay so 177 all right so let's just take a little gander over here and see if we're greater than 83 dollars 96 dollars right price is going up a little bit uh, now, again, you could hold that second shop until you get to another town that has it, so you get a little extra cash, because as you hold it, the capital will go up, uh, but just for the sake of this. So now, let me go through and do the entire freaking map, and then at the end, let's see how much that one pottery is worth. All right, so check this out. Now we have complete monopoly over all. I went through, oh my god, I tell you, this took a while. Every single of these places <laughs> to go and make sure that none of them had a pottery barn. But now we've got the only pottery barn in town. So what you'll be doing is essentially just chilling out and you wait about a eh, day, day and a half, and then you'll buy your own pottery. Nice part is because you also maintain a monopoly over the only operating pottery shop in all of Caldera you actually get a pretty decent income. So I've got about 50 troops in my crew, and I'm pulling now a profit. So let's just stop right there, take a look. Wait, no, 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 no. Trade, thank you. So there's not like Mountain Blade Warband where you could actually just tell them to hold all the stuff or add clay and then be able to take more. They don't have that, unfortunately. But what you can do is say, okay, cool. Look right there. You can sell for crazy amounts. So now you're the only person producing pottery, so you buy it at whatever, and let's just say that uh, in the course of, you, you just blazed over here. Excuse my speedy Okay, so now we're over here with magic, magic. If you made it this far in the comments below, say, you damn cheater! You can do whatever you want at the end there, garbly gook. It's kind of fun, try it out. Okay, so now let's go down to trade. And we say, hey, what's the pottery? Look at that. Crap load of profit, yo. It does die out pretty quick, so you're probably only going to be able to sell five. But so what? My trade is garbage on this guy, so I'm sure this is a really fast way. Let's just say, oh, I went over to Quisieria. Wow, there's a lot of people coming for somebody over there. And it's still 215. You can still sell these things all day long, so as you're driving around, doing your thing you could be making profit so pretty good but anyways guys uh let's see what we got here let me just show you what i have 276 on the amount of money i'm making so uh you can make a pretty decent amount of money using being the only pottery shop in all of caldera uh now that's not like ridiculous but at the same time this is a strategy for like you're just going around the map doing your thing you just stop in, you see another pottery shack, buy it out, turn it into something else, and then you're the only one with a pottery shack. So you'll artificially make sure you always have profit. Um, well, anyway, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Not Probably not the most amazing one, but hey, not a bad strategy either. Also, if you guys like the new format, let me know in the comments below. And...